In this video, we're going to dive deeper into understanding of price action using price action rules. We're going to be only relying on the pure candlesticks as they are printing on the chart. And the very first object that I drew is this channel working to the upside. Now, why am I doing this? Because there's a reason to price movement and every single price movement is contained within a pattern, a channel. So these candles are never alone and naked on a chart. There's always a reason for this directional bias of the market. And as long as this option is in play, I'm only thinking about buying. Now, as you can see, prices are correcting and we have second inch long. Why this is a second inch long and why am I interested in counting for second inch long is because this is the latest high, the highest high inside this uptrend and a two-legged pullback second inch long at the key entry point, either the 21 bar EMA or the trend line would be a high probability setup. So you have new high, break higher, first entry long, failed, second inch long. However, notice the distance between the EMA and the second inch long. It is confirming the trend line, yes, with solid momentum, but since it's still far from EMA, it is quite aggressive. So I'm not really taking it, especially since the market hasn't even opened yet and there's still plenty of opportunities to be presented to us during the day. Okay, we're breaking the channel and according to trend line rule, we are not expecting reversal. We still expect for prices to test the latest highs high inside of this channel. So this was this high. So we most likely are going to see the high that is higher at least by one tick than the latest highs high inside of this channel. So now that I see break of the uptrend, I'm looking for two like a pullback second entry long, but we only have first entry long straight into a new extreme. So I'm going to mark my new extreme. And at this point, there's going to be most likely a brand new cycle, some form of a correction. But I can see a little nuance here that prices haven't even broke below EMA once. So this is already quite a strong uptrend. Nevertheless, I don't really want to be going long just yet. We just had a new extreme. Okay, another very strong rejection. So prices are more bullish than expected. We have a second entry long, very far away from EMA. And now we have felt second entry short. New low, we pull back to the EMA. First entry short, pull back, second entry short. I'm counting for second entry short, not because I wanna go short since we are above EMA, but because it can still fail and can be a bullish long signal. This is more aggressive because we just came up off the new extreme and it didn't even trigger below this bearish bar. So I would prefer a little bit more information, but you can already start to see that the prices are struggling to break the EMA. So something's going on here. And as we are trending higher, you can see that the prices are allowing us to find a pattern because we have geometric formation of these lows. So if I'm going to connect these swings, it's going to copy and put it at the top. You can see that the channel is actually evolving into a spike in the channel because after new extreme, you would expect correction or reversal. And this is not happening. We can't even break below the EMA. So this is already a good sign that we can trust this channel. So at this point, I'm switching back to bullish because you can see how strong the uptrend is. Not a single break below EMA. The channel is aligned with EMA. This is generally a good sign that it is valid. And if you had this spike channel in play before the felt second entry short form here, you can actually consider taking this because it is of two key entry points, but you need to have the channel in play before. And because we set a new extreme, so you want to be a little bit careful. The market keeps trending high. Okay, we have a new high. I'm going to reset the count at each new high. You have only first entry long. Okay, and you can see we have a new high, first entry long, second entry long, but the horrible bar, not at the EMA, and you're buying directly into these highs. I cannot go long. You can see there is no room to get out. We have multiple dojis. Prices are stacking. Okay, we have a big bullish bar bouncing off the trend line. And actually, I was watching it live. I had micro break and attempt to create a new high. But you cannot go long here. It never triggered. You can see there's not a one tick higher, but you cannot go long anyway, even if there's a trigger, because there's no room to the last swing high. It is right at the top of this congestion. Okay, you can see prices are going sideways. Now we have a new high, first entry long, second entry long. Can I go long here? I cannot. Why? Well, because notice the spike in the channel had a break and attempt to create new high. We didn't really create new high because it still is not higher than this, but it is very close. More importantly, EMA is getting flat. You can see 20 bars stack right next to each other. You have no room to get out before these highs. The bar is too big and it's completely congested. So just this is a no trade zone. 
this is not what you want to trade so just be patient okay prices are pulling back lower are you thinking about selling right now we cannot really sell because this is just the first time we closed fully below the ema and since this was too bullish you want to see market to develop more to have a cleaner bias so i'm just going to be waiting to see what the price action is going to do this is still too bullish we may get a new high but at the same time this is quite bearish so multiple variables conflicting i'm just going to be patient here there's nothing wrong with being patient and waiting for price action to give you something clean you can see the small consolidation is being formed even here multiple matching lows sideways structure no trade zone and prices are strongly breaking to the upside so when i'm watching this okay this is probably confirming the bullish bias they were gonna get new extreme for this spike and channel because we're not reversing down we're back above the ema so this is way too bullish and we already created new high notice this high is higher than all these highs inside the channel so we have new extreme okay i'm gonna right now make the resistance a little bit longer why because you can see we are transforming from bullish trend into a sideways trend range ema is getting completely flat a lot of price swings up and down but we trade up into it so we're definitely going to be a little bit more patient when it comes to selling we still are above ema okay we have a new low first entry short pullback second entry short failure and a new high first entry long pullback second entry long so we have felt second second entry long and a felt second entry short which is tempting because we have two high priority setups in one at the key entry point at the ema but there is not much room to these highs and you just had a new extreme so once again slightly more aggressive notice your stop loss goes one tick below the signal bar every single time you're buying your stop loss goes one tick below the signal bar and every single time you're selling the stop loss goes one tick above the signal bar so you would have survived this is why we put the stop loss one tick below the signal bar and you just have to ride this out but eventually the scalp was made but you don't necessarily want to be taking this because like i said almost no room to get out and use it a break new extreme so the stronger correction is to be expected we have a little fell breakout and now we have lower high confirmation of the fell breakout now this spike at a channel created a break and a new extreme which is a good sign that this bullish momentum played out and now you even have another top another new extreme let's say and a great low high confirmation to fill breakout this is such a great tier one signal bar indicating strong momentum closing on its low i believe this setup is worth taking a chance especially if you're trying to swing this because you're also selling the top of the train range you can see we transformed into a brand new cycle which is a train range so it makes sense to be selling high according to range rules and the uptrend played out and prices continue working lower so i'm going to redraw the short and down trend Okay, I can even redraw the shorten option here. So I'm just following these pure candles, looking for the proper channels and following the trend down rule. Okay, we're breaking way too below. Now, am I expecting for prices to pull back into this trend range? I'm not, because this is too bearish and we have pushed so far down that at this point, this looks like a brand new downtrend is starting. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit wider because this still feels like a very one seamless leg working lower. There was not a significant pullback okay okay we're correcting so going to trend line rule i expect for prices to create new extreme i'm anticipating second entry short at the ema but we never get it and market created new extreme so we have new low which means i have to pause looking for short setups but you can see the downtrend was a little bit strong so let's see what's going to happen okay i have a new low i need to redraw my short and uptrend definitely i have a first entry short that failed one take above this bar and sort of like a second entry short but i can't take it remember after new extreme for the channel i would need to have confirmation set up for me to trust that i can sell again so after there's a new law of the downtrend i would like to see second entry excuse me lower high confirming the second entry short or double trap okay i want to see a little bit longer momentum to see that the bulls got trapped so i can already see that the ema is rejecting so this is telling me okay the structure is a little bit too bearish we're most likely not going to reverse instantly we're correcting and the uptrend created a break and a new extreme okay and now we have double trap this means that all the sellers who sold second entry short too early they got trapped they got stopped out you can see 
the prices went higher and stopped all of their orders. And the bulls who are buying felt second entry short while you're below EMA, they got trapped as well. Or they're about to be trapped. But we have the indication here that they're going to get trapped. And this is what I'm betting on. So this is why this is called double trap. Up jump beta with the break new extreme. And this was quite bearish and we're still closing below EMA. Great tier one signal bar closing below the EMA. And also notice it visually looks like a two like a pullback. So this looks like a second entry short on a larger frame. I took this setup myself personally. It's a great signal bar. And the fact that the bulls are struggling to break the EMA is telling you, okay, now I have a confirmation that there is still bearish momentum and we're going to continue working lower. I was scalping for six ticks today because the bars were smaller. The ATR was quite low. So I got my six ticks. You have a lower high, but I have inside bar of this bearish bar. So I definitely can't really take it. And plus it's getting a little bit sideways. You can see it's getting a little bit stacked. You can't take inside bar like this. Very stacked now. Prices keep working lower. Okay, so this is a good sign for bears. Okay, and notice what's happening. We have a congestion. We broke lower, came back and tested. So this is a breakout pullback. Can I take this breakout pullback? I cannot. We're very far away from EMA. I cannot take the breakout pullback just yet. Okay, notice another attempt to test it. But notice how far the body is away from the EMA. EMA tail trap. There's a gap between the EMA and the body. So still not something you want to take. It's getting a little bit stacked. And notice what you have. You have a big bearish bar. And this is extremely tempting. This is a breakout pullback. But it is two sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars stacked right next to each other. You know, you can bet that a lot of bulls must have gotten trapped going long directly above this bullish bar. And it instantly reversed on them quick to the downside. So... You're feeling that you're going to continue working lower because now you're fully confirming the EMA and the breakout area. The breakout pullback support is acting as resistance. So you expect for prices to go lower, especially after such a big bearish bar. But it's just a little bit too sideways and prices continue working lower. Now at this point, what I can see is we have a break new low, but we keep gradually and consistently working lower and lower. So since this was such a tight leg down, just like here on the left, we had an option that evolved into spike and a channel. When this leg is this tight and we have sort of like a flatter second leg working lower, there's a chance for spike and a channel. So if I'm just going to look at this, you can see how nicely it is fitting off of these highs. I'm just going to copy it, put it at the bottom and you can see how it aligns again with the EMA. So this generally tells you a lot of times that your spike and a channel is correct. So you can see that this was the reason why the benchmark was so strong. And notice what you have. You have a lower high confirmation of this breakout pullback. This was basically a double trap as well. And notice this lower high feels again as a mini fill breakout, part of a fill breakout. We have a larger congestion. Support was broken. Breakout fell. Test it. But since this the breakout pullback pattern alone was so congested, you can see that it resulted into a smaller train range. So this was another breakout pullback combined with the EMA, decent high probability setup, a little bit more advanced. But if you understand what's going on here, the EMA is holding it is a, another breakout pullback of the smaller congestion. We keep creating lower highs, low lows, decent stuff to take a chance on. Okay, prices are breaking this downtrend. So I'm going to redraw the short and uptrend. And what am I expecting? I'm expecting a second entry short. I expect new low for the downtrend going to turn down rules. And we have second entry short. Cutting from the low slow. First entry short. Pull back. Second entry short. Great signal bar. Right near the EMA. I took this setup myself. Again for six ticks. And it ended up being a quick easy scalp. I'm entering with the limit order at the close. Stop loss goes one tick above the signal bar. The same thing about this trade right here and prices. Now we have a new high, first entry long, second entry long. But you're failing to reach the bottom here. You're going too sideways. You know, something is off here. Why are we not making it all the way down? Why are we going so sideways? So I prefer to be a little bit patient here. It ended up pushing lower regardless. But it's a little bit worried that prices are just struggling to even touch the midline at this point. And once the spike and channel keeps trending lower for so long, there's a possibility for me to 
even make it a little bit wider like this. So I'm constantly trying to tweak the channel based on what the price action is telling me. And since these two new swings are basically allowing me to confirm the spike on the channel so well, yeah, you can see the reaction here it created. This allows me to widen the spike and channel itself. Give you a new low for century short, second entry short. Can I take? I cannot. We're far from EMA. The uptrend is in play. The second entry short is a high probability setup only under the right conditions. It needs to form at the key entry point and the uptrend needs to play out. And you can see you're fired from EMA and the uptrend is in play. We have a lower high here, but you're still not touching the EMA. It is a doji. So the correction hasn't fully played out. The doji is weak. I don't really like going short here just yet. Prices are correcting. Okay. Okay, now we have a new low, first entry short, second entry short. Now we have a second entry short at the key entry point, which is the trend line. But since you form micro double bottom, I like to redraw a brand new uptrend just to be sure. Because when prices came back for micro double bottom and this move is so steep, you know, you want to be sure that you're not jumping the gun too quickly. So, you know, this is very aggressive if you're going to sell here. It's not bad actually because. You have odds on your side because once again, you're at the place where all the smart traders will be selling. This is where you want to sell at the top where the correction phase will end. You don't want to be selling down here, chasing it because you missed the beginning of the push phase. So you're at the key entry point and it is a second entry short, new low, first entry short, second entry short. It's just the fact that this uptrend is in play. So you're taking more risk. You definitely cannot be angry if you have a losing trade here because the uptrend is in play. The lower high is way too low. You can see. No way to take this back into these lows, not at the EMA. You have to be careful. The lower high needs to form much closer to the EMA and at the start of the move. You can see this is too late. The move down basically already happened. The leg down is already done and the lower high is too late. And we form new extreme of this downtrend and prices are strongly reversing to the upside. Okay. Okay, we have a new extreme. Now, when I was watching this, I also played with the idea, what if the spike and a channel is just a tad wider like this, because you can see it still fits perfectly. So I was watching this alternative as well. And it basically all comes down to how the EM is going to react now, because if we break new high, we have a new high, first entry long. And if we're going to push below EMA here, I would keep this wider downtrend because it would show me a bearish momentum. But this second entry long continue working so strongly after break new high. So now you retrace too much. EMA held. And at this point, I'm going to go back and use my first alternative, which is a tiny break and a new extreme. So you don't always have to be perfect. If you're unsure and you have two conflicting channels, just observe what the EMA is going to do here. You can see that since you're not pushing bull EMA, this is too bullish that most likely there was a break new low and the prices are reversing to the upside. Okay, we have a new high, first entry long, second entry long. Can I take it? Not really. I was looking for possible spike and channel like this, but it never got confirmed. It broke lower, so I deleted it. You know, so you don't have to worry about this. You have a second entry long here. And actually notice what you have. The small support is being established, triple test. So the bulls, are coming into the market and deeming this price level worthy buying. And once you have a break new high, another new high and a triple test, you know, it is very tempting to expect bullish continuation, but we don't have no bigger channel in play. Let's see. Okay. And notice what we have. This is actually a great setup. High low confirmation of the second entry long. And this is exactly the kind of setup you want to see if you're unsure, because you have a break two legs to new extreme. You have to like a pullback, second entry long, combine with the triple test. So you're thinking, okay, we may go long here, but it's not as clear. Prices pushed above EMA, came back. You have quadruple confirmation and high low confirmation of the second entry long. The only thing here is that on my chart, the signal bar is terrible. It is a bearish doji, but I noticed other traders had a much better bullish bar. So if you're one of those traders who have much better bullish bar here, by the way, Thick charts can definitely vary here and there. Sometimes it's going to look better on my chart. Sometimes it's going to look better on yours. Most of the times our charts match, but sometimes there can be a little difference and today was the day. 
So if you have bullish bar here, high low, you can definitely go low on here because quadruple top support is holding your buff EMA confirmation of the second entry long on my chart. Unfortunately, it never formed. Okay, prices keep trending to the upside. So I'm gonna redraw a smaller channel, spike any channel like this. Okay. So once again, this one can be considered if you're more advanced. And this one is definitely great if you have slightly better bar. On my chart, really, the bar is horrible, but I'm gonna mark it if you have slightly better bar on your chart. Hopefully, you understand what's going on here and why you're adapting to break new low and you're no longer looking for prices to continue working lower. The fact that you have triple test here and you're pushing up EMA, that's confirming the fact that the market is reversing bullish instead of chasing the new extreme. Brand new trend has been established. Micro double top resetting the count. I have to redraw the downtrend. I cannot buy as long as this trend is in play. Unless I get at least attempt for a new extreme. I have a first entry long. Okay, can I get a second entry long? I can, but it's too late. Notice how high it formed and there's almost no room to get out before this high. The second entry long needed to close somewhere around here. Smaller bar, so I have room to get out. This is already too late. The move is very close to new high. I cannot go long here. The bar is too big. And even with limit order, the move basically already happened. It's just too late. I'll be entering very late, so I can't run. Enter. You can see it never even triggered my chart, but still, you don't want to go long there. And now we have a big bearish bar rejection. Okay, so something is going on here. Prices are correcting back. Okay. We're trending lower. Only way I'm gonna go long is if we're gonna push above EMA and get some high low confirmation setup, which we never push back above the EMA. We have a tiny break at a new extreme. Let's now see what's gonna happen around the EMA. Okay, we're breaking the EMA and we continue working hard. So this is a good sign that we're gonna create a new extreme for this uptrend. So I'm gonna redraw this channel and I'm looking for two like a pullback second entry long at the EMA because this spike kind of channel needs to get new extreme. Okay, and we already created new extreme for the spike and a channel. So I need to pause my longs. Okay, I have a new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. You know, it is tempting. The way it formed, it's really not allowing for good failure to be formed. It's very tempting on my chart. I can mark it more aggressive, but you're taking a chance. You know, I don't even want to mark it because you just created a break in your extreme. But this channel, even the secondary channel, a lot of times, may get a new extreme. So for this reason, it is quite tempting to consider this. It is such a nice bullish bar and it forms so high that you can't really imagine failure. Well, like I said, you break new high, so you would prefer high low. Once again, stop loss would need to go one tick below the single bar, so you would have survived. High low is inside bar, so you can't take. And you can see market is stalling quite a lot now. Okay, we're going sideways. Okay. You can see you're at the bottom of the trend range now. You have a new high. First entry long, pull back, second entry long. At the bottom of the trend range, more aggressive trader can consider. Needs to form a little bit better in your chart. And now it's already too late. We have even a felt second entry short here above EMA, but you can't trade this late. I hope you had a decent trading day. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.